Well, firstly, guys and Steeler Nation, that performance on the offense was absolutely atrocious. No matter where you look at it, if you look at the, the play calling with uh, Matt Canada, you look at the quarterback play with Mitchell Trubisky. Now, I did like what some of the receivers did with Claypool and Deontay and some of those fellas, and also the, the, the good catch with, um, with Pickens. However, that play on the offense was absolutely atrocious. And do you know why it was atrocious? Because they couldn't really run the ball yet again. The offense was stagnant, was stale, was poor, unimaginative, and nothing was really happening. You went out there to, to receive the football first, and you got the three and out. I think it was a, a run, pass, pass, and that was it. It was game over, three and out. The defense had to go back out there. This, this brings me to this question. And I want to ask you guys this question, and I'll be I'll keep asking this until uh, un until it either happens or something changes with the the offense. When is it time for Kenny Pickett? When will Kenny Pickett come into this offense? Now, before you shoot my head off and say it's the O line or we've got to give it time, we have to, we do have to do this. You've got to ask yourself the question: Are you happy with with Trubisky's play? Me? No. I'm not at all happy with Trubisky's play. I think his play is awful. I think he's he's a, you know, he's a, he's a few steps away from getting a sack fumble or the interception he threw today was terrible, right? He doesn't have any command of the offense. Somehow, some way, Trubisky is the captain and quote unquote, you know, the leader of the offense. There is no real leader on the offense. It's meant to be Najee Harris, and he didn't play his best best game today but he tried his hardest so did so did Joe and Warren they tried their hardest with the offense that they have the Steelers right now they can't throw the football down the field they're not doing it they're not even chancing their arm to throw the football down the field and that is worrying when you've got teams coming up like the Bills the Miami Dolphins uh, the Ravens in, a, in you know near the end of the year the Bengals again the Browns next week you think that the Steelers are going to go into these these um you know, stadiums and, and even in Akershaw Stadium and win versus the Browns? I don't think so. It's not going to happen. Nick Chubb's going to run all over you. If you can't possess the ball long enough and, and sustain drives, you can't do it. It's not going to happen. So the question is today on the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate, is it time for Kenny? Do we need a spark for this offense? Is, is, is the problem Matt Canada or is it Trubisky? Which one is it? Is it both? Is it time now for Kenny Pickett to have a chance? Do you throw him into the Wolves and see what happens versus the Browns? Do you wait a week after the Browns and then play him in, in uh, versus the Jets? What do you do? The crowd in, in Pittsburgh, we're voicing their opinion. You guys are voicing your opinion. Let me know in the comments, right? Don't hold back. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. For me, it's time for Kenny. We have seen enough. I think it's only been a short stead of what we've seen with Trubisky. But we know what he's like. We saw what we saw in preseason. Mason Rudolph's playing better, much better. He can't move the football. He's not, he's not uh, accurate with his passes. He, going through his progressions, doesn't know what he's overly doing, in my opinion. Um, he's, not, he's not finding the football to the open man. He's getting scared, running scared, and he has no control over the offense. So is that more or less on Matt Canada? Or is that on Trubisky? To me, it's a time I think you put in a guy like Pickett to, you know, save the season at, at this at this adventure right now, this venture. Because with Trubisky right now, man, you are going to win maybe, maybe four games, five games, maybe. If that defense can, can help us out on the back end. But let me know in the comments below. Let's start a discussion. Is it time for Kenny? Because it certainly feels that way. You know, we don't know if Kenny's going to get done by the O-line. We don't know if if what's going to happen, right? It's a mystery if we do do put Kenny in there. He's a rookie, sure, but you look at all that. You look at all the evidence on how he's a winner as well. He's played there. He's played in Heinz Field. I think he's ready to play in the NFL. Why not? How worse can it get? Play someone who wants to go out there and throw the football. Kenny has more power in his arm. He's more accurate. He steps up into the pocket. And he goes through his progressions and he reads the defense. Mitchell Trubisky is not doing that. And he's 
we're throwing away, I think, some games right now if we're starting Trubisky over and over and over and over, right? In my opinion, it is Trubisky's playing really bad and the offense is not helping him out. Like the, off, the play calling is atrocious. But let me know in the comments below, guys. I'm fired up. I'm, re I'm about ready to crash. I've had a massive morning. Uh, it's my morning right now. Let me know in the comments below. Is it time for Kenny Pickett? That's the real question. Or, you know, is it time or when is it time? When's the time for Kenny? Kenny? The fan base needs it and this team needs a spark. So when is it time for Kenny Pickett? Let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, thank you for checking out the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. And I'll see you next time. It's got to be better. It's got to be much better. See you guys later.